hey, this is Dr. Story, I have another case for you of a patient with a foot problem that is uh, remedied through chiropractic. This particular patient is a young high school uh, student. Uh, she's very experienced, been dancing for 10 years and has just brutally strong uh, feet and calves. Um, she was actually getting pain. This is just a plastic model of a person's knee and foot. She was getting pain on the outside of her shin. And what's interesting is we actually found the problem in the foot of how those muscles related to the foot. Now, in a previous uh, video, I showed how I adjusted the navicular bone right here. This particular patient, her problem was in the uh, cuboid bone, which is this one on the outside. And you'll see how she had just no strength in the muscle at all. And then we did these adjustments, worked on the muscle just for literally 10 seconds. The muscle strength came back. And so it's really a fascinating uh, case. This was different. This case will probably heal a lot faster, largely because this is a young patient, whereas the previous case was a gentleman in his 80s. But whether a person's 15 years old, 80 years old, we can still help them with uh, extremity problems. And we're one of the only offices that I know of, because I've been looking, um, that is an expert in adjusting extremities. So I hope you enjoy this case. And now, so I'm just testing a muscle. Hold right there. And then when I just pushed it, go ahead and try to resist me, okay? It just unlocked. Mm -hmm. So basically, something along this muscle mm -hmm. right here is not neurologically happy. So when a bone gets misaligned, either in the foot or the fibula, um, the body senses it as uh, an injury, and it won't allow the muscle to contract. And so then you get muscle pain. Like, oh, so this, I'm going to put your foot on it, okay? okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on the bone, mm -hmm. and you'll hear a big... Is it going to hurt you? No. Okay. No. This is a, the bone is actually like a rock. Okay. Like a big rock. You can't break it. So the thing is, is that when, what you're going to feel, it's going to feel essentially like, mm -hmm. like that. So it, that's, that noise is not you making the noise. Okay. It's the machine. Okay? This is new, right? Uh, that machine, or have you had it? Had it over 20 years. Maybe I just never used it on me. You never had the problem. That's true. You got to create more problems. <laughs> no. Yeah. So actually, use my knuckle. There we go. Okay. So that's not working. So now, I'm going to check it. Okay. So now it's got good movement. So let's test it. Okay. Let's see how it does. That same test that you did the first, uh, the second time, bring it out like this. Keep it there. And let's see if it changed at all. Are you ready? One, two, three, hold. Okay. So that's pretty strong. Felt the difference? Yes? Okay. Let's test it again. One, two, three, hold. Okay. Let's test. So here's the thing. Somehow or another, her ankle must have rolled. And it could have been very subtle. Mm -hmm. So this bone right here is called a cuboid. When I first uh, was testing it, mm -hmm. it would go up fine. But then when I tried to pull it down, it just wasn't gliding, which mm -hmm. means somehow or another the ankle got twisted and the muscle gets irritated. Mm, okay. How long has this been? How long has this been? Two, Two days. Three days. Okay. Yeah. So the thing is that generally speaking is, is you know, kids don't have arthritis and all that stuff, so they don't have to worry about it. So the thing is, is as long as she just kind of moves her ankle around mm -hmm. um, normal range of motion, then that should, uh, it, it should stay that way. Maybe two or three treatments and we're okay. done. But right in here, if you put a little heat on it, mm -hmm. okay. that'll be fine. Got it.